Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, let me talk you through the drill. So I'm gonna start off by making some drill. I might add in a bit of drill and then mix it with a little bit of drill. So get your power tools ready. I'm gonna be cooking up from scratch, so hopefully there's some gems I can drill into here. So let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm thinking for this one, I'll start off with a piano, come up with a melody, and then I might change the instrument. I always say that though. I always say I'm gonna start with a keyboard, just get the chords and notes in, and then flick through some other instruments. I end up just liking the way the piano sounds, but we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna try and go by ear. I think sometimes when you set a scale, you kind of limit yourself because sometimes it's okay to go out of the scale if it sounds right. For example, you might wanna go from a natural minor to melodic minor. Yeah, man, when you've got a scale set, you kind of avoid that. So I'm just gonna go by ear. Yeah, so I think I've got some kind of progression. Yeah, I think halftime sounds cool, but I want to get that last chord in. So this last chord here, I'll talk you through the theory in a second. This is just because I've got halftime on, so you need to rearrange things. So let me show you what I've done here. So the chords that I were playing, it's kind of a D sharp minor chord, but I'm missing out the F sharp. So when you miss out the middle note, it just sounds darker, you get a different feel. So I've done the same chord here, and then I've brought it down to B minor, missed out the middle note, and then A sharp major, again, just missed out the middle note. And then the last chord, I came up to D. So really, I'm playing in D sharp minor, and D sharp minor doesn't have D in it, but then when you use D, it makes it a harmonic minor. So if I selected the harmonic scale, it should work. So look, now that we've got the harmonic scale selected, you can see that D works with it. So I'm just gonna add some variation to the second part. And you might be wondering why I've added C sharp when I'm in the harmonic minor scale. Just because you set that scale doesn't mean you have to use all the notes in it. So look, if I brought this up, it just doesn't sound right. But bring it back down. See what I'm saying? So I'm just adding a bit of ambience with effect rack. I need to cut out some lows. bring back some high mids, that should be okay. And then I just wanna test something. I wanna render this and then reverse it just to see how it sounds. That actually sounds cold, but what I wanna do is chop it up just so the progression doesn't change. So I'm gonna bring this here. I'm basically bringing the reverse backwards so it's the same progression. And if you're hearing clicks, just turn on generic bleeding. actually sounds cold. Maybe a simple top melody like this. I might even pitch this main melody down. And see when I'm pitching anything down, I'm just taking into consideration the bass notes. 
So look, when I had it on D sharp harmonic minor, the bass notes are D sharp, B and A sharp. And when I'm using 808s, I don't like to go too low with them. So for example, if I was down here, I hate using A for 808s. So I might want to pitch it up. I just want to find a good balance where I know all of the notes are going to sound okay. For example, when I bring it down four, one, two, three, four, I kind of know that I can get away with B, sometimes G and F sharp. I could play it real safe and pitch it up. So the lowest I'm going is B. So I might actually do that. So instead of going down four, I'll go down 11 and I think that should be the same. But I think that's just a bit too low now. But let's try it where we had it, down 4. I could bring that mallet down 4 too. It just sounds a little bit darker now. Now I've got the eight weights in. I'm not liking how the melody sounded with it. So I'm going to bring it back up to D sharp and see if it makes a difference. Alright, so I think I've got all the elements that I need right now. I don't want to add anything else until I start arranging it. That's when I start adding most of the effects, um, some of the transitions. I definitely want a second eight weight pattern too, just to switch things up. So I'll start mixing it, I'll arrange it, and then show you the outcome. Alright, so I finished mixing and arranging everything. As you know, I always like to switch up the eight weights. So I changed the pattern a couple of times, even the main one, and I've done quite a bit with the arrangement, but I'll just play it and talk you through everything. So in the intro, I just left the piano, added the vocals. Vinyl and love filter to get that effect. J J Cactus. A bit of a delay drop, but I think it's cool. Then the pairs come in. And a new 8 weight pattern. Notice I'm always adding little breaks. So that's just gonna keep it interesting. So this bit here, it's just acting as a bridge. And for the actual hook, I slowed everything down. So, 
different vibe. Usually you speed things up for the hook. But I took some energy out. And then I took the delay off the cow snare. And then to start the second verse. Just straight back in, but feel it here. So again, just keeping it interesting throughout the whole beat. And then I think the rest of it just repeats like the first verse. And then to end it, all I did after the hook was add one 808 note, just so it has some sense of conclusion. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you were feeling the beat. And a lot of people have been asking me when the Ocean collab video is going to drop. It's going on his channel and I think he's uploading it tomorrow. So it should be live tomorrow. He's also bringing me on as a guest on his podcast. And I'm not really sure when the episode's going to drop, but I'll make sure I keep everyone posted. But yeah, as always, let me know what videos you guys want in the comments. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.